As an actor, don't you um, look at theater as, but I really enjoy the, the performance aspect of it every night because it's different to do it over every night. Mm -hmm. or, or you, you still like Well, that. yeah, parading around on stage is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about theater like it's the thing. Yeah. And it's somehow more Especially important. In New York, but I, I just think back and doing it. I think movies are more important. I think they're potentially deeper. You know, you don't have to shout to be heard, and people and, and the camera's looking right into your eyes, right straight through to your soul, and it doesn't do that on the stage. And the other thing is, is that stage acting is so easy, because you think about it. Um, to do Broadway, you're going to rehearse for maybe two months. Mm -hmm. You got it down. Right. Then you do a month of previews. By the time you open. You could do it in your sleep. And then you work for three hours a day. I mean, this is easy shit. Yeah. And movies, you know, you, you get six o'clock calls and you work uh, 14, 18 hours a day. You're always living someplace else than home. You can't right. go home for dinner. You right. know, you don't see your it old lady, so your kids. Either, you know? I mean, huh? The quality has to be there, too. Well, it's, it's much more concentrated work. I mean, when you think about the fact that, like, you spend 14 hours on a day in a movie set, um, on a big budget movie, uh, you're actually shooting about two pages a day. So in other words, two minutes of that 14 hour day mm -hmm. actually counts. And you've got to be there all the time for the right. whole 14 hours because you don't know which of the two minutes is going to count. Um, and it's hard work and I, ju I just think it's deeper and I think it's ultimately more important. I, uh, and one of the things is that, that Broadway is Stage work in general is like finger painting, or not like finger painting, it's like uh, uh, sand painting, mm -hmm. in that it disappears right after you do it. Right. Whereas. Uh, the, no, there's no record of it. Really. Yeah, except, uh, for, movie, except for what the writers, you know, the, the well, critics. Well, the book wrote is about there. Yeah. And uh, uh, the. But your performance what the is about critics, what the critics wrote. Fuck yeah. the critics, yeah. man. I mean, critics, there are some good critics, but by and large, Critics are critics. Yeah, They're critical, but even even the bad you know? stuff is, is is there for the record. You know what I mean? So pe people, twenty, yeah. thirty years or fifty years. From well, it's not just the bad old. stuff. It's the dumb stuff. There's yeah. a lot of dumb critics, and uh, I'm not too big on critics. Uh, mm. It's a difficult thing to deal with because if you believe your good reviews, you got to believe your bad reviews. And you can't just say, "Well, that guy's full of shit," but this guy isn't. And um, by and large, uh, you know, you know how you get to be a really important critic is by saying mean things right. in a witty way. You don't get to be a really important critic by saying this is a great movie. And there's a few exceptions. Mm -hmm. uh, Charles Champlin was a guy who truly loved movies, yeah. and that's that's all he did was talk about how good it could be right. or how good it is. Right. Right. And he rarely lambasted somebody. Mm -hmm. But by and large, you're going to be a junior critic until you start saying mean, witty things, mm -hmm. and then you get to be famous. And the most famous critics in history are guys like Oscar Wilde and everything. They just put everybody down mm -hmm. real bad, mm -hmm. you know. You don't think you'd like to revisit, uh, like, mid stage work? At, you oh, know? sure. Right. It's, it's part of the mix. Um, and I have not done enough stage work uh, over the years. The mm -hmm. uh, uh, last thing that I did was a thing called Don Juan in Hell. Mm -hmm. in, uh, at the Henry Fonda Theater here in L.A. Because I mean, you know, the chances are—that's not even people are really a play. Offer you stuff, you know, now possibly well, work and stuff. Now. Yeah, I used to get offered a lot of stuff, and I'd have to turn it down because I had a movie coming up, or because I didn't think I could afford it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, nowadays though, you can go, let's say, to London if you're a rock star. You can go to London and and play a part uh, on the West End for six weeks and get out. Right. Um, you don't even have to have any real chops as an actor. So, and there's a lot of uh, Hollywood actors who, who go to New York and, and replace a lead. Yeah. That's done all the time. And I used to get offered a lot of stuff on Broadway and off Broadway. And I did, you know, I mean, I did two off Broadway plays and, and I did some regional theater. Some of it was pretty important. And, uh, uh, but yeah, I keep thinking I want to go back to the stage, uh, but not as a big deal. Not like, okay, now I'm going to be a stage actor for a long time. I would just like to do something. I'd like to do one of the classics for mm -hmm. sure.